hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm going to be showing you how to remove factory reset protection on this huawei device huawei y9 2019 all right so this is the phone this is the back cover and let me take it out all right let's continue the setup to see that it really has google account lock so bringing down the camera a little bit uh next skip skip and once you press this key, this is going to pop up, okay? So please verify your identity with your Google account. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let me show you the test point for this uh, procedure. All right, just those two points, we're going to shut those two points together. We're going to shut those two points together. I hope you have seen that. All right, so let's um, wait a minute. Let's go to device manager. Let's go to device manager. Oh, sorry. Um, first, you need to type in the model number of the phone into the software you are going to use. I'm using uh, Octoplus Huawei 2, so that's what I'm using. Mm -hmm. So going to the the uh, file manager uh, sorry device manager I mean device manager I'm going to show you how I'm going to connect the test point now so you just watch don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this uh, channel so the first thing for us is to uh, shut those two points I showed you earlier then you insert your cable then insert your cable do it gently all right so if everything goes well your charging port is okay the phone uh is okay then you should see this on your device manager all right huawei usb com 1.0 all right this is a driver for the test point all right that we we just uh did earlier so if you don't see this on your device manager that means you need to install huawei uh drivers on your on your laptop okay once you do that it's going to it's going to show all right or you can just download iSuit and you install it so the next process is to press the reset frp that you just see me do then you wait for the process to finish all right wait for the process to finish make sure you are connected to the internet So uh, this prompt is saying if you have a modified USB cable, I don't have a modified USB cable, so I'm just going to press OK. So I think it's going to pop up again. All right. And now it is again. I don't have a modified cable. All right. If you check my previous video, you will see the modified cables. All right. So all you need is to wait for the process to finish, for the software to finish the process. All right. So another thing I wanted to say is, all right, this is giving me a new version of my software. So, so another thing I wanted to say is, if your phone does not recognize the PC, make sure you check the charging port. I mean the charging system. Sometimes the death might cause it not to recognize the phone. All right. So you take your chemical and the brush, you brush it off, you clean it properly, then you try it again. But if it doesn't work. All right, that means you need to replace that charging port and make sure the DM and the DP line are well connected on the PCB. All right, even all the all, all the legs, make sure everything is connected properly. Then you try the method again, it's going to definitely is going to work. All right, so the software has completed the process. So we're going to press the next key button now. Then if you see this page, that means you're good to go. Guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for these amazing tips and tricks. All right and if you are in nigeria if you want us to re repair your phone for you you can just dm us in the comment section below and we'll get across to you on how we can help you repair your devices thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have learned so you have seen this why 9 2019